Black Friday holiday shoppers, nothing. There is no one out. The economy is rolling over. And Mike, Mike, do you hear me? It looks like Mike is having technical difficulties. I think he's buffering. And Mike, maybe you can patch me over Thomas to Mallory. Is checking in with shoppers in Chesterfield. Mal Mallory? We've been out here for several hours and we've only run into one person. We're in front of Best Buy. They've got the barricades out here, but there's no shoppers. The days of sleeping off your Thanksgiving meal in a tent Done. and waiting in long lines for door buster deals are long gone. I see nothing. I'm uh, surprised. Normally it's wrapped all the way around the building. Today, no one. Jeremy Pritchett remembers <laughs> working in retail during so the sad. traditional Black Friday, and it wasn't that long ago. We would get there probably about midnight, get everything set up. We let people in early, give them donuts and coffee, you know, to try to slow down the stampede and stuff. And I mean, it was the. It, it was busy, but it was also one of those that was always fun. And it, I mean, it's kind of gone, it looks like. Online shopping seems to be the new normal for Black Friday. Well, let me pause that. Hold on, Mallory. We have numbers uh, on Black Friday. And here it is, the blockbuster story. You can always make stories, whatever. Online sales, here, I'll show you. Set Black Friday record 34 billion online no nothing going on in regular retail but that's a gain of two percent oh my gosh that's so huge i mean that's nothing to write home to mom about or your wife hey you feel that that's two percent baby u.s shoppers kick off holiday season with where's that button mute it's gone black friday heavily discounts and a lot of them even my course oh my goodness Great plug, Johnny Bravo, if you want my swing trading course, the lowest you'll ever see it in your entire life. And I said I'd never go this low. You get one day. Today is it. Poof, gone. Grab that for $199 or my bear market course, which I think will be that in that for maybe 10 to 15 years. So, so start making money on the way down. Heavy discounts to clear inventory appear to draw small crowds. Little, little ones. Little ones walking around. Very small. I have to spend more for it to look the same, shoppers say. Or you could just be like me as a teacher with six kids. Kids would I'd go to the 99 cent store. Actually, scratch that. It's cheaper if you go to the 97 cent store. It's just a little maybe more in gas, but you just put all the things in boxes and boxes everywhere with lots of gift wrapping and the kids are like, yes, that's what I've always wanted, another Jay Bravo doll. But now here is the troubling part. Mallory, can you hear me? I think she's stuck. She's at that cross-eyed thing going on with fire. Let's probably get rid of the, sorry, Mallory. It's cooking up in here. The problem is people are now maxing their credit cards out. You should see what they're putting on the buy now, pay later. So all of these gangbuster, oh my gosh, the, everyone's spending so much money online. No, that well, not in a healthy way. And actually I have to say nothing is usually healthy this holiday, any holiday season. The birth of Christ, yes, check, good. This stuff, not healthy. The food, ugh, the debt, th this this does not, does this make you guys happy? Just get lots of these things. Poly Pockets, is that, see, 509. Five, poly Pockets, is that still a thing? But more people use buy now, pay later for holiday shopping, but experts say that's a double-edged sword, yet no duh. And I guess it's popular among the younger cash-strapped consumers. My suggestion to you younger audience is just don't, don't do it. Give, give mom, dad a card. That's it. Be like, that's it. I'm broke. I'm, I'm bro I have nothing. No stimmies. Those ran out. Two years ago, a year ago, we still had some cash. All is good. Have you seen my savings account? Yeah, it is gone. Buy now, pay later offers a new spin on the concept of, I don't know. The number two was over it. So I'm just going to go with I don't know. Can I buy a vowel? I'm going with Laiawa. <laughs> okay, layaway. Sorry. Don't, please don't ever put me on that show. They'll have the whole thing spelled out and I'll still screw it up. Look at these stories for buy now, pay later. You even have senators saying don't do it. And how about the interest rate? I wish you could go take that money and make 30%. That, wouldn't that be amazing? You have $1,000 and you come back in a year. Now it's $1,300. That's what the credit card companies are doing to you. So make sure you don't do it. More people use it. 
Uh, what if buy now, pay later? Uh, you can't pay later, right? You probably won't because we're going into a recession or we're currently in one. But, you know, administration just seems to forget that we're in one. But I can guarantee you if we're not in one right now, oh, holy baby Jesus, next year will be one. Now, the solution, hey, kids, as I taught you in high school and college, you take these things right there. See this? Uh, reference symbols, those are the people taking advantage of you, and you trade them. These guys, online purchases using BNPL rose by 13% year on year in November. And you know why? Well, that's because they think you're stupid and they don't teach you about this in school and they keep you heavily indebted. That's what the first thing from school is, what do you wanna do when you're done with school? Go do more school and put it on the card. You'd think after 18 years, you'd be good enough. You're like, I'm good, I can take on the world. Oh no, let's put you in a doctorate program for 10 years and put you in $350,000 in student loan debt and then go get a job. And for those of you kids that are interested in making money from the company that makes money off of you, that would be a firm. I drew a, a firm red line that is going to be your support and resistance it was support now it will act as resistance in a bear market 200 day moving average heading lower and i currently have no plays for you if you turn on the td we're uh, we're heading lower uh, it'll probably pop up retest that you have a head and shoulders that has not confirmed well no it did confirm but not full uh from neckline from head to neckline that breaks here Price target is uh, probably right around bankruptcy uh, at uh, four and a half. And my nine count, you're at six. So nine is about it. Starting to kind of reverse on the MAC. The, I, best case scenario, that's actually pretty far up there, 17 bucks. But that, that'll, that'll definitely be a run. I would say once you go up there, get ready to right click like that. Click trade, click sell. You got to wait until it gets up there at about 17 bucks. It's going to get rejected up there. High probabilities, not financial advice. We only paper trade here. But you can learn about all of this in my bear market course. It's really that easy. You, just, you click the button. You just have to figure out all those things. But I include everything. But trust me when I say this, I think this bear market will have legs. And these bears, it's normally four legs, uh, maybe six on, on this one. And me and... People like Roberto, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, author, says economy is biggest bubble in world history. God have mercy on us all. And I say amen to that, Robert. That is correct. Based on the system that we have in play right now, where debt is money, money is debt when it shouldn't be. Definitely not biblically. It should be gold and silver. But we're like, why don't we make debt money? That's a great idea. So yes, when this all ends, and when does it end? I don't know. Will this save you? A little bit. But when it's all burning, as they say, you might as well just throw your silver out in the streets because the world is burning. And if you know me like I know you, because when you leave your comments in the comment section, I read every single one of them and I give you little hearts. Sorry about all the spammers. I see yours. I cut through all the, the junk and I see you. So please, I love the support. It really helps out me because I'm like, oh, you like me. I'll keep going. That's kind of how it is in life, right? I'm very thankful for you on Thanksgiving also. So I give thanks because of you being here. Many of you don't or many of you know I don't invest in equities. Well, I do. I trade them. Bonds. I do. I trade them. Well, some I get stuck in. So my, my next my next bond move, that's a year, but it's f paying 5%, which is pretty pathetic, but whatever. ETFs, I do. Uh, please do not listen to what I am going to say next. I would get out of paper assets. Okay, the world economy is not a market. I believe the economy is the biggest bubble in the world. You are right, Robert. I agree with you 100%. And I still think we have... One more push. But Kiyosaki's comments come as economists predict the U.S. is on the precipice of a recession in 2023. Come on. You get tw two negative quarters. We had it in 2022. Bank of America recently released its global economic outlook for the coming year. And the recessions throughout the world, Europe, UK, you name it, we're all rolling together because we all are on the same stupid debt-based system and 
Then we chose this sheet of paper to be like, this is the king, which is about as dumb as saying tulips are a great use of money. But also before I forget, oh, hey, so you can be here tomorrow. I think tomorrow I'm gonna break down some charts of why I think this could be, these are just all probabilities that you could have really bad stonk market for 10 or 15 years. Well, it's great for someone like me with the moment, because I'm a momentum trader. I, I swing it up, I swing it down. I do patterns, but for the most, you know, most people are investors. I rarely meet people who trade, I, I, none. Well, besides you guys that are like, hey, you figured something out. I'm like, yeah, it makes total sense to me. But I think for investors, they could be looking at 10 to 15 years of pain and suffering. But it's not you, you're gonna beat all their portfolios. 2023 will be bad. Global growth set for weakest level since 2009. So that's globally. If you want to see charts here, I'll give, I'll, I'll give it to you. Global real GDP growth, which a lot of it's just fake believe, right? You take China or anyone, you know, it's like, oh, here it is. Here's our pixie dust. Uh, we're heading lower. So take a look. You got true growth and base effect. Uh, this is what we just came out of. Give people 10 trillion. Boop. Well, that lasted for about that long. And now we are heading lower. But like always, it takes time. It just doesn't, it's, you know, it's like the Titanic. Well, that didn't take much time. But I was going to use that as like turning it around when you have to turn around these these freight carriers, it, it takes a lot of time. So we're just, you know, starting to turn. And last but not least, Wall Street's most accurate analyst. Here's what happens in 2023 and his top 10 trades. Do you see? Trades. And honestly, everything that's even in this article, you guys would know because you've subscribed to my channel. Long bonds, hey. I think I told you about that. And if you want to trade bonds like this using this screen, so you're going to connect trading view, make sure you take advantage of their Black Friday. That's that's over. Well, the, the Cyber Monday. So grab that. It's once a year. Same thing. My course is the lowest you'll ever see it. Uh, and then connect uh, Lux Algo. They're offering Black Friday too. Grab that one. This is like us, you know, things that we are looking forward to shopping this year. How? Because we want to, we want to grow income. I don't want my income going the, the other way. On bonds, you're going to see a pullback. Why is that? Well, here's my nine count and guess what you're at? You're currently at nine. Even when I say the, bo the bond market is, this is, this has to be it. I mean, I think that's, this is the lowest you're going. You had a double bottom, we're heading higher, but there's there's gonna be pullbacks. Markets just don't go straight up or they don't go straight down. They they go like this. So I do expect this to roll over. That is your uh, that is your MACD, the RSI. We are in over, eh, I mean, not we're not oh, uh, right here, the 70, we're not super overbought. We're just slightly overbought, rolling over. We'll probably come down, hit the 50. But also a little more charting in the biggest market in the entire world, which is the bond market makes the stock market looks like a small child. There is your double bottom right there. Your buy indicator comes on. Wouldn't it be nice to uh, actually have that available at your fingertips? Oh, hey, it is. You go into your Lux Algo. It doesn't stay in there uh, too long. There it is. It comes out, double bottom. You have your buy. You break your resistance. That was support and resistance. Now resistance, uh, almost a falling wedge. Not enough touch points because just, there's just not. And now you've broken out of it. It'll probably come down, retest, right? That resistance, which is now support and then continue higher. Also another important thing, probably one of the most important things for my younger listening audience. In life, you have, you have consumers, you, you have buyers, and you have sellers. If you don't know which one you are, you're, you're probably a buyer. Your life will be very difficult until you learn to become a seller. See the store behind me? Yes, that, that would be a guy who started a company and, and he sells things. It's, and then you live and that's all passive income. People just buy your stuff. And that's why I've taught it my whole life. Learn how to create stuff. Learn how to become a seller first before you become a buyer. I know people always want to buy stuff and look like they're rich, but at the end of the day, you're not. You're broke, just like most people putting on their credit cards right now. And it's the highest ever, and that's just the way life is. That's because the system's created, in, in starting in school, make you look around, oh my gosh, I want to be like Jimmy. I want to be like Bobby, right? Everyone's cool. They dress cool. They look cool. You want to be like that? How can you leverage whatever you got to look like you're cool, but in the end, you're not. And I used to beat that drum every single day teaching high school. 
I'm like, sell something. That, that, was, that is how you passed my class. You got to sell something. Candy, you want to sell candy at school? You're going to get me fired and they'll probably kick you into another school where you probably sell candy there too. But at the end of the day, you're still making 150 bucks a day times, you know, whatever. You're probably going to clear $100,000 by the time you leave high school. Just administration doesn't like competition on the stuff that they sell. I remember back in the day, I bought uh, those spinners, fidget spinners for all the kids. I bought pallets from China because it was the hot thing. Before it became the hot thing, I knew it. I already had an order pallets and I said, just, you know, whatever, just pay cost on it. I, I won't make any money because I, I feel terrible. I can't do that. And then administration says, you're going to be fired. And I said, but they're making 20 bucks a pop. But yes, Mr. Bravo, we are training them to become employees, not employers. Come on this doesn't work this way. And you're creating competition for us. How dare you? So whether you are young or old, produce products, produce companies, be a seller, don't be a buyer. And I will see you, well, tomorrow, because I work every day of my life. But I guess that's what you have to do when, you, when you're the boss, right? See you tomorrow.